Hey everyone, so welcome to one of my first official completed oil paintings. This one underwent quite a change as you will see. I super sped up the beginning of this because I actually ended up totally changing the color scheme because I actually started this picture last year in 2015 and I worked on it once or twice then I didn't touch it for a long time and I moved to a new place and things just got busy and I just wasn't motivated to work on it. And so this picture sat for a long time and didn't get worked on. And then I finally just picked it up about a month ago and started working on it again. And so much time had passed that when I looked at it, I just didn't like it as much anymore. I think it looked good at first when I had the skin and everything, but I, I didn't really like how I was shading the noodles with the same color I made the skin, and then when I added the background color, it just didn't contrast enough to me. And I had been seeing some art recently where people have super dark backgrounds and then a light subject matter, and I really wanted to try that with a very black background. And so I decided to totally change it and do the black background with a very whitish character and with a bit of purple in it. I don't know. <laughs> I was kind of just winging it. I was like, I just want a dark background. I don't know what else. I also did things like I made the mouth a little bit bigger and changed the shape of the nose, made the eyes smaller and brought the eyebrows down, that kind of thing. So yeah, <laughs> in terms of the concept of the spaghetti, <laughs> This was just during one of my live streams. I knew I wanted to paint something and I was just doing a bunch of random little thumbnails and then all of a sudden I was drawing spaghetti on this girl's head and I just thought it was kind of cool so I rolled with it. So that's how that came to be and I wanted also something that was big like it's just a head so that I can draw this big head on this board because I'm new to oil painting and I knew I would struggle to get detail and that kind of thing, so I figured it would be easier if I started with just a head so I have lots of space to work with and all of that. So that's what I decided to do, and that's how this came to be. <laughs> it's a little weird. She's eating one of the spaghetti noodles. I just thought that was, I don't know, it made it more interesting because it's like she's made of food, yet she's eating herself. <laughs> And then I did the spoon and fork at the bottom just to sort of complete the picture so that she didn't run off the page. I wanted it to just be self-contained and have her end before the edge of the board. So and that's what I did. And in terms of materials, I'm using just this piece of wood I got at the art store. And then I have my Holbein Duo Aqua water or water <laughs> oil paints. They're water soluble oil paints so you don't need the usual solvents that you would use you can even mix in a bit of water you just have to remember the fat over lean rule but um, you can mix them with a little bit of water mostly I just use the water to clean off my brush and then they have linseed oil that they make for these paints but I don't know I like them they're cool <laughs> I'm just used to the precision of using pens and markers and pencils so going to oil paint it kind of drove me crazy. <laughs> I can't set my palm down on the picture without smearing everything, so it's kind of weird. And um, just not as much detail. Even with the finest brush, I just can't get as much detail as I want. So it was tricky, but it was doable, I guess. <laughs> it makes me scared to do something smaller. I guess I'll just have to get practice, you know? Practice drawing something smaller like either on a smaller canvas or just a full body or just a subject matter that's farther away. But I feel like this was a good starter piece. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not completely thrilled with it. Part of that's just because I did start it so long ago and I did change the colors and tweak a few things, but ultimately it's still sort of the same. So I'm just kind of like, eh, it's okay. <laughs> I would say the one thing I'm a little iffy about with the picture is just the contrast of the orange and purple. I like the contrast and everything, but I don't know, I guess I'm just not really a big fan of the purple-orange combo, and so I was trying to add more purples to the meatballs and sauce and everything, and they're shaded with dark purples and dark blues and stuff, but I don't know, it just, it was too much. And there's even really light purple in the highlights. 
I just feel like it's too too much of that reddish orange. I should have maybe done something super weird. Kind of like how the noodles are a little bit purple. I think I stuck too closely to the color of real spaghetti sauce and should have made it really quirky or something. Like I could have gone full on purple or like a bit of pink in it. I don't know. <laughs> One thing I do like about having switched the color scheme though is that cats are making noise. <laughs> the reddish undertone of the skin kind of shows through a little bit and I like that. I feel like it makes the picture just, I don't know, the colors seem less flat and more lively. So I think that turned out okay. And then with the eyes, um, they were super bold black lines and I actually ended up feathering out the lines after and giving it more of a smoky look just because I felt like it was too clean and crisp compared to the rest of it. Plus with how dark they were, it was just kind of like bam, black lines. It was actually really dark brown, but still it just looked too bold. So I softened out the edges and uh, that helped. I do like the contrast of, of the facial features against the rest of the face. I think it's neat and it brings out some of the darkness of the background or the background brings out the darkness of the face, however you wanna look at it. I just like how there's some of each. Anyway, here's the finished picture. I did blend out the cheeks a bit more. I did it off camera. It took me like one minute to lighten up that shading. I was already done filming and didn't feel like recording again, so I just quickly fixed it. And that's what it looks like now. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. I think we're going to try doing a scribble challenge. Either we can make our own scribbles or we can use Jazz's app. I think it yeah. gives you a scribble. I kind of just want to be like, <laughs> make my own. <laughs> so that's what we're going to uh, do. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, this is Kayla. <laughs> we're having lots of fun. And let's show, let's show our little space here. Let's, let's, do, let's do a little turnaround here.